Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States and welcome to Coney Island in the fair borough of Brooklyn in New York City. We are here on this beautiful sunny Sunday afternoon right down uh, in Coney Island. And behind me here is the original Nathan's Hot Dogs. Now Nathan's, you probably have seen in the grocery store, packaged and sealed and ready to, to buy and take home. But this is where it all started at Coney Island in 1916. This is the 100th anniversary of Nathan's Hot Dogs. Now Nathan is a real dude. Nathan Handwerker and his wife, Ida, came here as Jewish immigrants in 1912. And Ida came up with the recipe for the hot dogs and her mother came up with the recipe for the secret spice. So they started this business in 1916 where it was a nickel hot dog. Now today, obviously, a hot dog 100 years later is a good deal more expensive, but it's my understanding they've maintained the same recipe over all these years. Probably some improvements, but largely the same original recipe from 1916. It's interesting to think about this fella coming here as an immigrant in 1912, and in just four years, developing what would become a national and perhaps internationally known business, a huge multi-million dollar corporation a century later. So that tells you something about the, the American story and the whole idea of coming here as an immigrant and, and finding your, your niche and making a success of your life. It's, a, it's one of those, I don't know, rags or riches, Horatio Alger kind of stories that is, finds itself in permeating the consciousness of the, of the American culture, at, at, well, at least for me. <laughs> so we're gonna go inside now and Bev and I are gonna get some hot dogs and try them out. I know I know I like Nathan's hot dogs, but we of course had to come to the original here in Coney Island. And we're only a block from the boardwalk and the beach, which we'll get down to as well. So come along and let's take a look at Nathan's original. So obviously with the expansion of, of the business over years and the growth, they've, they've set this up in three stalls, essentially three areas. This is hot dogs, fries and drinks. They've got a center section for chicken, burgers, and cheese steaks, and then on the other end is seafood items. So of course we're gonna get dogs because you come to Coney Island for Coney Island dogs. And, uh, but it's set up now for to efficiency. So the lines are more organized. People that are cooking are cooking a specific area of things. And it helps because they obviously, as you can see, get a lot of traffic through here in the summer months. Now, I don't know if this is open year round, but I suspect it is, even though it gets pretty chilly here. Yes, it is open year round, even though it gets pretty chilly in the winter. We might come back this winter and try it in the winter to see how much different it is. Because I do love me a hot dog. But it is packed here in early August in Brooklyn, so we're gonna see how much of the, the this we can catch for you. Now, I don't know if they take debit and credit cards or not. Uh, some of these places are cash-only businesses. Fortunately, I've got both. We're gonna see how that goes. One eternity later. Okay, so we managed to get our dogs. We got some regular dogs, we got some chili dogs, and we get, and Deb doesn't wanna lift the camera up any higher. And we've got a uh, chili cheese dog in there for Bev, so. Seating is at a premium here, so that's going to be a little difficult for us, but we're going to make do. So this is, in fact, the, the root of why in the United States, most places, when you buy a hot dog with chili on it, or a chili dog, it is often referred to as a coney dog or simply as a coney, because these originated here in Coney Island in New York. So as it spread around, it became a Coney dog and eventually, well, because we're pretty lazy as Americans, we just shortened it to a Coney. So if you go in someplace and you order a Coney, now you know where it came from and chances are anybody here in the United States is gonna know what you mean. Often served, by the way, with onions and mustard, but you know, People like Bev like them with ketchup on it, but she's the exception to the rule. Normal people like them with mustard. Anyway, 
I hope you've enjoyed this short episode, this visit to Nathan's here in Coney Island for their 100th anniversary. I hope they keep going strong. They make a good dog. Anyway, if you've got questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I love hearing from everybody. I try to get back to everyone I can. If you haven't already, please pick subscribe. Come along for the adventure. We love having everybody with us. And as always, thank you for watching.